As Singapore's population ages, the government remains committed to making sure citizens have access to affordable, appropriate and quality health care. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet says this is a core tenet of the country's social compact, which must be upheld. Mr Heng was speaking at the Singapore General Hospital's bicentennial celebrations. Brandon Tanoto with more. One, go! To ensure that quality and affordable health care is provided in a sustainable way, Mr Heng says everyone will have to play a part. All Singaporeans, including our seniors, must place greater emphasis on staying active and healthy, both in body and mind. As a society, we must take greater collective responsibility, whether it's through social risk pooling such as MediShield Life and CareShield Life, or through the taxes that we each contribute so that we can build a fairer and more equitable society for all. In fact, Singapore is also pushing ahead with its healthcare transformation efforts. It's shifting its focus from providing healthcare to actively promoting a healthy lifestyle. There's also more integration in healthcare, like shifting more care from acute hospitals to the community setting, plus the continued pursuit of healthcare innovation. Much of the improvements to health outcomes and cost efficiency in past decades are due to are partly due to our investments in science and technology. We must continue to strengthen our systems and capabilities, and our frontline workers must remain nimble and adaptable in responding to this virus and future crisis. Mr Heng says the pandemic's also shown the spotlight on the importance of resilience and robustness in the healthcare system. SGH came out with innovative solutions to increase the capacity to care for infectious patients. For example, in 50 days, SGH converted a car park into a full-fledged COVID-19 isolation ward. SGH also created a portable uh, anti-room system, which when fitted behind the entrance of a ward or intensive care unit, is able to convert it within hours into a negative pressure isolation space. The government's also committed to make a career in healthcare more attractive through wage increases and enhanced career pathways.